he's physically weak um mentally he's he's resilient um but obviously this takes a, an enormous toll and this is we believe to be it to be the final hearing in the uk um and if he loses he will then be moved to the united states the uk will move to extradite him we know in other other cases the uk has extradited a person within 24 hours of a negative decision i know you have grave concerns about whether he will survive or not if he is extradited to the US. The US in the last court case gave assurances that he would be safe. What do you say to that? These are not assurances. They are a license to torture Julian. Julian in fact, it doesn't stop the US from doing anything. It in oh, fact you. says uh, that the US can choose to torture Julian if they deem it necessary um, at a later point. It is anything but a guarantee. It is just a fig leaf to be able to torture Julian once he's extradited. What kind of conditions do you think he could be held in if he was extradited? Well, the United States uses solitary confinement uh, on any given day. It's been reported that 80,000 prisoners in the United States are in some form of solitary confinement. They don't call it that. The Australian Parliament has passed a motion calling on Julian Assange to be released. What does that mean to you and what does that mean to his case? It means everything. In a political case, if you don't have the backing of your own country, of your own government, um, you're done for. And this is really important for Julian uh, that the Albanese government has stepped up and said that Julian has to be released.